What is going on guys? My name is Baron of Developer B and welcome back to episode 29 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to create custom player heads. So this is going to be pretty much how you get the item version of a player head and it'll show the skin on it depending whether you are online or not or what's going on. But that is pretty much what we're going to be learning today. And I'm going to teach you guys how to get it from a player that is currently online on the server. You just type slash player head and then the name of the person who's online and it will give you their head. So let's go ahead and try it out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check if the args length is zero. We've done this before and we're going to send the player message and we're going to tell them it's not going to work because they didn't specify a player name. So please specify a player name just like so and then we can return true and go down here and then we can say player target because we know that we have an argument now we're going to say bucket dot get player of arc zero and we can go ahead and get that and now we can check if the target is null or not and if the target is null then we're going to send the player a message and we're going to say uh the or actually args arg zero oops args zero is not online like so and that is going to tell them that they are not online return true and now we can say that target is online we've done this before that's kind of why i sped through it now we are going to get to the actual player head so let's go ahead and actually specify the player head and we're going to say this is called head and we're going to set a new item stack and we are going to set this to a skull item that is what the item that we're using is and we have to actually specify the durability or the data value and we are going to say this is skull type dot player like so dot ordinal and that is going to give us the type of the skull so it's going to be a player and now we can go ahead and go in here and say skull beta meta equals head dot get item meta and this can be skull meta because the actual item is a skull so it is going to work out and now we can actually set the owner which is going to be target dot get name because they are going to be displayed on the head and then we can say set display name to chat color dot yellow and we're actually going to say this is and then chat color dot gold and we can say arg zero and then that head exclamation point and we can return this to chat color dot yellow there we go and now we can go in here and say head dot set item meta meta and be done with that and we can go ahead and add it to the player's inventory because they are the ones that requested it so we can say add item head and we don't need to say set because we're just going to add it to their inventory and then we can go down here and send them a nice message and we're going to say chat color dot green and we can say received and then arg zero oops so like that arg zero head there we go so that is actually pretty much it we just got their head as you can see it's a little bit more complicated than you might have expected but we actually just set the skull item to a player head and then we get the skull meta and we can set the owner through this skull meta you can't set it through a regular meta if you had seen before but there we go we have our target and our target appears on this head so now we can go ahead and build this and see if it works so let's go to custom heads and build and as you can see i have an alias that is ph so that's what we're going to be using so if we say slash ph it says oops slash ph please specify a player and then we can say developer b and as you can see i got my own head right there so Thank you guys for watching. That was a quick little tutorial on player heads, and I will see you guys in the next episode.